Hi, and welcome to section 3, which is all about creating and tagging a recipe. In the previous section, we took our first steps in Lodash, using its collection API to build a list of recipes. We added filtering of our recipes on the front end, and began adding a simple search parameter to our recipe list API. In this section, we will use the Lodash Array API to manage the tags in our recipe application. We will start by ensuring we only submit unique lists of tags with a new recipe. We'll then build our API to add those tags as relations to our recipes so they can be included in tag counts and filters. After some work in the API, we will spend the last two videos of this section on the client side. We will first add the display of tags to our recipe cart component, and then we'll enhance our new recipe form to allow removal of tags that have been added to our recipe. Now we move on to the first video of this section, where we will add submission of new recipes with unique sets of tags. In this video, we are going to introduce the Lodash Array API, a group of methods that are a part of Lodash tailored for working with JavaScript arrays. We'll start by solving a common problem when working with arrays, removing duplicate entries from an array. The very first thing we'll do in this video is to review our form component that will be used to enter new recipes. This form will be built upon as we go through videos throughout our course, and this will be our first look at it. We'll add form submission to our component and remove duplicate tags from our form submission before sending our request to the API. In the API, we'll add our tags to the submitted recipe and then test out our new recipe submission process. Let's get started with the form component. In your recipes client repo, check out branch video 31 by running the command git checkout video 3 1. Remember to run npm run dev to rebuild our app when the source code is changed. Then, in your code editor, open the component file at app slash components slash forms slash recipe slash index.js. As in our other components, we've extended our base component and created methods to get our components template and render our component. We've also added methods to add and remove tags that will be completed in the last video of this section. The create recipe method exists but has not been filled out yet, and that's where we will start editing our component. The first thing we need to do is include the unique by method from Lodash. Below the require of the create method, add a call to require Lodash slash unique by. This will include the new method in our build. Then in the create recipe method, we will get our form element that is a child of the component and get its value for title, description, and tags. Right now these are simply text inputs, so to get our tags ready for submission we split the tags input value by white space characters. What this means right now is that our tags are limited to single words, which we will improve upon later in this section. If our title and description are filled out, then we make a call to window.fetch passing the recipes endpoint along with a configuration object. This object includes a method, which in this case is a post. It also includes the headers informing the API that we are submitting a JSON payload and expect JSON in return. Then we set our new recipes attributes into the body property of the object. Since we want our tags to be unique, we are going to call the lodash unique by method, which takes an array and a callback for each array iteration. The callback should return a value that is used to compare with the other values of the array to ensure uniqueness. Since we might have a mix of upper and lowercase tags, we want to make sure that we convert the tags to lowercase before testing uniqueness. To accomplish that, have the callback accept a tag argument and return tag.toLowercase. We then handle our resolve fetch first with a call to then to convert our response into JSON, and in our next call to then we reset the form. After saving our component file, next open up the recipes API repo and run git checkout video-3-1. This will switch to the latest API code for this section. After you have checked out the branch in your code editor, open up routes slash recipes slash index.js. This is the same recipe routes file we worked on in the previous section. You'll see we now have a post route added to the file, but we have yet to include any handling of our tags. The first thing to do is add a call to unique by in our API code as well. 
Since we want our API to act consistently and independent of our interface, we add this functionality here to ensure the integrity of our data. We'll use the Lodash chaining method again to wrap our tags variable, run it through the same callback as our client, calling tag.toLowercase, and resolve the chain with a call to value. In our call to db.push, add the tags property and a variable to the recipe being saved to the data store. Finally, in the call to res.json, add a tags property and the tags variable to the response. Now we are able to save our tags as a unique list along with our recipe. Once we save the recipe route file, run npm run start to start the API server. In a separate console, go to your recipe client repo and also run npm run start. Open up http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 9000 in your browser and open up your browser's dev tools. You'll see the new form that was added to the application where you can enter a recipe title, description, and tags. Let's test out the new form. First, enter a title, key lime pie. For the description, we'll say, refreshing pie made with key lime juice, whipped cream, and a graham cracker crust. For tags, let's enter a few. Remember, right now they're just space separated single words. Let's enter dessert, pies, tart, and then to test out our unique buy function, add pies again. Then click add recipe to submit the form. The form is then cleared and you should see a post to the recipes endpoint in your DevTools network tab. If you inspect this, you'll see the response is a newly created recipe with a new ID and an array of unique tags. Try refreshing the page and you will see the new recipe in the interface as well. In this video, we have introduced the Lodash Array API and started working with its methods to help create a form to add new recipes to our application. We adjusted our client-side component and API to remove duplicate tags from our recipes with a single line of code, thanks to Lodash. We added the tags to recipes when saving them, and then tested out our application to see the new recipe we created.